Hello everyone, welcome to Professor 3 Mac. In today's video, I will give you a step by step tutorial on how to perform centrifugal force analysis at very high rotational speed in Abacus CAE. And we will be trying to do something like this where uh, a component is rotating at a very high speed and we are trying to estimate how much centrifugal force is acting on it. So you will learn about how to apply high speed rotations, kinematic coupling to create this kind of motion and also you can do any centrifugal analysis including centrifuge. So see you on the other side and hope you will enjoy this step-by-step -step tutorial. Okay so I welcome to the front side of Habakkuk CAE. This is the component with a reference point here which is at a distance of 140 millimeters as per the subscriber. I will quickly show you how you can make this thing to rotate about this point. So create a part material first density i was assuming everything everything to be in meters so everything all the units are in kilogram per meter cube and also the elastic constants are also in newton per meter square so 119 gigapascals was provided by the by the subscribers i'm going to use that i will create a solid section with everything default and then i will assign this to the part so now i'm a Abacus knows what material properties this thing is made up of. Assembly, I will bring this part here and you see everything comes without any problem. Then I create an explicit step, step module, create, select dynamic explicit on, I think everything will be default in this case. And I move to the interactions because here I need to couple this thing with, with this. So I will also use coupling. I will select the whole Sorry, I need to select the reference points. So I'm going to select this. And then I have to select the noded region. That's what I'm doing here. So everything is kinematically coupled with all degrees of freedom. And you can see, you will see these lines. Now loads, displacement boundary condition. Firstly, I will fix this in U, in U1 and U2 direction. So it cannot translate. And now I will apply our angular velocity and I'm going to use any fictitious value for the time being. Let's use a value of one radian per second. So now mesh. So I can go, I can select a global mesh, whatever, and then I can press this and mesh. So you will see the mesh here. Okay. And then finally the job. So I just submit this now. Hopefully it should finish no problems and you see it finished in no time so now if i go back results so when i press contour plot so you see it is doing it is rotating so you can rotate it for the whole length as well if i use a value of seven or something then it will have a full circle as well so let's do that as well so let's go to the loads edit and if i use a value of seven or something then 3.14 will be one 180 degrees in radian so i'm going to use that as well and this and now if i run it again submit everything will go in quick time Then results. Now, if I if I do this, then you can see it starts to rotate. This is how it looks like. So you see, it's rotating with no problem, and this is more than slightly more than that. So you can also look at the animation. So you see how it rotates. And now you can also what you can do is if you can just stop it and bring the reference points here then you can also go to tools xy data create field output and you can say unique nodal and then you can select the reaction forces which could be magnitude as well and then you say okay node sets and this is a reference point so if you plot this so you see that around the force is around uh, 31 around 31 exponent 9 newtons which is very high 
so what you can do now that i think the user was or uh, subscriber was asking to use a very high velocity we can try that as well i'm not sure it's going to work sometimes it starts to distort as well 314 radians per second which is as you can imagine is very high i will try to run it so let's see how it looks so it is going well i think it finished in no time as well so results and now if i do the animation thing you see it's going really fast so we can't see it because our number of outputs are so slow that in one second it can take it has taken around i don't know how many hundred cycles so if i go back to the step module and when i'm asking for the feed output maybe i can ask for for each i think this one over three let's say let's ask for thousand increments intervals and then run it again so you see now it's writing every every inc almost every increment so it's taking some time but if i show you the results you see it's it will be going really well so so i think it's just here so if this was your initial position and this seat starts to rotate and it's rotating really fast so so you can really see what's happening here and keeps on doing it so so i hope this makes sense and you can see you can now make this kind of very fast rotating simulations with abacus in no time so i hope this made sense if you have any questions comment below and i will try to explain what can be done so thank you very much and bye for now